Yeah. So that's when you're at maximum tongue arch. And here's a good test for you. Now, I made another tutorial about this, but it was kind of shorter. So <clears throat> you can try this on different things. Purpose, here's me going from second line G to C on purpose. Okay. Okay, you're seeing movement here. I'm also adding a little extra tension when I'm going up to give it push. The way to really get the feeling <coughs> of tongue arch so it's not theory, it's actually something real, real that you're doing is to purposely try not to get the top note, yet raise your tongue in an arch position. So right now, I'm going to take a big breath, and I'm going to hold a G, but during that time, what's happening inside my mouth is this. My tongue is arching up. You already know that tip is placed behind my teeth. So it's going here. Ah, uh, up, and I'm purposely going to try not to get the C. Watch what happens. Hear that? Of course, it didn't sound good, but I'm purposely trying not to get the C. I don't want the C to come out. Watch again. Again. You notice no movement going on here at all, right? And I'm not, I'm really trying not to let the seed to come out. That's your assignment. If you can get that to happen, you've executed the tongue arch quite perfectly. Now, it doesn't stop there. The tongue has to be developed, and you have to be able to hold the tongue arch under a lot of undue pressure when you're above high C. That pressure will flatten down your tongue, and, you'll, and your range will drop. Not because you don't have chops, because you're not maintaining the tongue arch. So <clears throat> the tongue arch, is you got to get it, but then you have to develop it to withstand the pressure that will be inside your oral cavity when you're really playing in the upper register and beyond. Um, your tongue arch drops just a micromillimeter and you've lost um, two notes on your range, just like that. That's how easy it is. So watch, let's try it on a different note. Uh, low C. I'm trying to do that, right? You can tell. What if I take a big breath and purposely stay on that low C? Don't let that G come out. Take a bigger breath this time. The first one came out air because I didn't have any air left. Even low C to G, which is a wider interval, isn't it? It's a, another note wider, so you're going to fifth. Um, now, a lot more air is coming out on low C than it is on G, because you, you have the placement of your jaw and your tongue even lower. But still, you could hear that something was happening. In fact, the air started to cut off and on that first one. Did you hear that? It was almost no air. I mean, it was just air coming out. But the low C would not come out. So don't think that was a mistake. The low C would not come out anymore. Let me just see if I can go for the air again, because that was pretty important. I'm raising the tongue up to the point where the low C will not vibrate anymore. Well, now that time the note came out. No, hold on, I try it again. I'm trying to keep the low C down, but I'm raising my tongue into a tongue arch. No, it's not going to do it this time. I guess it was kind of a fluke, but still, that was important um, to realize I'm trying to play the low C, which even beginners can get. 
so you know something was going on inside here. I mean, if I can't play the low C, something really is as bad. As bad. It's gonna, something bad is going to happen. Maybe the, the end of the world tonight. Like, subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.